Toronto rapper Drake may have offloaded most of his California properties in recent years, but it seems he had his eyes set on another state. Records show that in October 2023, Drake purchased a massive resort estate in the Texas city of Brennan between Austin and Houston for $15 million. The luxury 313-acre spread is called the Ena Dos Brisas and includes a Mediterranean-style main mansion, several haciendas and casitas. Additionally, it features an equestrian center with a large indoor arena, an organic farm, a greenhouse, a sports court, and a restaurant complete with a 7,000 bar bottle wine cellar. Aubrey Drake Graham, known to us all as Drake, has got to be one of the most influential figures in modern music. Born in 1986 in Toronto, Canada, Drake's early life was a mix of cultural diversity and artistic influence. His father, Dennis Graham, was an African-American drummer from Memphis, Tennessee, who played with country musician Jerry Lee Lewis, while his mother, Sandy Graham, is a white Canadian of Jewish descent and worked as a teacher. Drake attended Forest Hill Collegiate Institute, where he began acting and later attended Vaughn Road Academy. Despite facing financial challenges after his parents' divorce, Drake's multicultural upbringing in Toronto played a big role in shaping his musical style. Drake's intro into the entertainment industry began with his role as Jimmy Brooks on the popular Canadian teen drama series Degrassi The Next Generation. His portrayal of a high school basketball star who becomes physically disabled after a school shooting brought him early recognition. Despite his success on TV, Drake's true passion was music. In 2006, he released his first mixtape, Room for Improvement, followed by Comeback Season in 2007 and So Far Gone in 2009. After propelling into mainstream fame, now Drake's home life is as eclectic and luxurious as his career. Known for his lavish lifestyle, he owns multiple properties, including an infamous 50,000 square foot mansion in Toronto's affluent Bridal Path neighborhood. The Feel Great System is your key to a healthier, happier you. Two powerful products that support intermittent fasting. Unimate and Balance, combined with a simple practice for measurable results. Feel Great is an all-natural product that boosts energy and focus, meanwhile supporting blood sugar and curbing your appetite. Improve your overall well-being without changing your diet or lifestyle. Register now for a free brochure, health plan, and 30% Famous Studios discount in the link in the description below. Join millions and feel great. Here, he reportedly spent tens of millions of dollars to build. This mansion dubbed the Embassy features an NBA-sized basketball court and a custom-designed recording studio, among many other amenities tailored to his taste. Additionally, Drake owns a multi-million dollar estate in Beverly Hills, which he actually purchased from singer Robbie Williams and currently has on the market for $88 million. Now, he can add this Texas resort property to his list. It appears that Drake couldn't resist acquiring a sprawling and secluded resort property to his real estate portfolio, this time in Brenham, Texas, located between Austin and Houston. According to records, Drake spent $15 million in late October 2023 to purchase the Ana Dos Brisas, a 313-acre estate featuring a Mediterranean-style main house along with several haciendas and casitas. The property also includes an equestrian center with a spacious indoor arena, an organic farm, a greenhouse, a sports court, and a restaurant equipped with a 7,000 bottle wine cellar. Originally bought by Houston tech mogul Doug Bosch and his wife Jennifer in 2000 as a family retreat, property was converted into a resort in 2004. It was a beloved Relay and Chateau branded property until it closed in 2022 due to pandemic related losses. At one time, the Inantos Brisas was recognized as one of Houston's top 10 best hotels in Texas and was home to the state's only Forbes Travel Guide five-star restaurant. Drake's stunning new estate features a resort-style swimming pool and spa surrounded by a sprawling sun deck. The main mansion here spends nearly 15,000 square feet of space throughout. The main house also boasts a bar-equipped lounge area, a fireside formal dining room, and a large swimming pool. The property's five haciendas and four casitas range in size from 800 to 1,795 square feet and come with amenities like stone fireplaces, kitchenettes, luxury baths, screened porches, and private plunge pools. Sounds like it would be perfect for Drake to host as many guests as he wants. 
Golf carts are available to explore the picturesque grounds, which include canned trees, wildflowers, a rose garden, the refishing ponds, and Peach Creek. It's still not clear whether Drake intends to revive the resort as a business or use it as a personal luxury retreat. However, the estate has proven that it can and has been the best in its class as a restaurant and inn, according to the listing agent Tanya Curry, who was handling the property. She added that the inn at Dos Brisas has the potential to be used in many other ways, such as equestrian venues, festival destination, a medical retreat, a country club, or just as a personal luxury getaway ranch. Drake has posted on Instagram while checking out his new ranch in his golf cart or his whip saying, we've done gone country on you all. In fact, the rapper announced that the purchase last fall when he hopped on social media to post this video of himself driving around the property. He added, we said we was gonna do it for a lot of years and we're doing it today. The sale is made, we gotta drop a new one for this. If you see your girl at the Loverboy Lake, it's over. Now, when it comes to Drake's Toronto home dubbed the Embassy, everyone knows about this one by now. This mansion set in the upscale bridal path area has become one of the most searched for homes on the internet. Drake bought the two acre plot back in 2016 for $6.7 million and immediately unveiled plans to build a palace like mansion that cost him a grand total of $100 million to complete. Measuring enough 50,000 square feet, it's as extravagant as they come. Drake teamed up with Canadian architect and interior designer Ferris Rafuli to build the home out of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other rare materials. Ferris described the home's interiors as modern art deco, combined with overwhelming high-end luxury that comes across thanks to the size of the rooms and the materials and details used. The scale of these rooms sets the tone, starting with the end Entry hall full of solid limestone, marble inserts, and a ceiling made of an antique mirror framed in bronze. Then there's the great room with 44 foot high ceilings, a concert grand piano, and other insanely expensive details. There's also a huge model of the famous chandelier that decorated the Metropolitan Opera House in New York back in 1963. With more than 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystals, this is the second largest light sculpture in the world. Of course, no home would be complete without a kitchen, and this one is as gigantic as you might think, with an opulent marble island and rows of navy blue chairs. Drake's favorite spot of all is his 3,200 square foot primary suite, which which boasts an additional 1,100 square feet of covered terraces. His bed is worth more than most people's homes, while the room also boasts a whiskey and champagne bar on the reverse side. His ensuite holds a 4,000 pound tub made of black marble carved from a single block. When Drake finishes cleaning up, he can head on over to his equally dramatic two-story closet detailed with Anthus hardware, raw crystal, and seating upholstered in diamonds. Drake even created an awards room that tells the story of his life from childhood through Degrassi, the next generation, and and onto his current identity as one of hip hop's most popular artists. Rounding out the home are more over the top amenities like sports jerseys displayed in museum like hallways, an indoor swimming pool covered in black granite, a top of the line recording studio, and an NBA regulation sized basketball court where you can always find Drake shooting hoops. After checking out his properties, we can see that Drake's real estate portfolio reflects his immense success and taste for luxury. From his sprawling 50,000 square foot mansion in Toronto's Bridal Path neighborhood to his new Texas ranch resort property, his homes are impressive as you'd expect. With an estimated net worth of around $250 million, Drake certainly has the fortune to live in only the best. That wraps up our house tour for today, but before we go, answer this question. If you bought a resort property, would you treat it as such or keep it private for you and your own guests? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. 
There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.